I'm going to show you how to remove or replace a broken or old valve stem once you or someone else takes us out from behind the tire. Assuming the TPMS is still good, so you can reuse your current tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, so you don't have to get a new one, which means you don't have to pay to get it programmed. You're just gonna reuse your current one. Now, some people might say, if your TPMS is quite old, then just replace it as there's a battery in here and it gets bad and it might just be easier to get replaced. Or if you get new tires, then a lot of times people get these replaced. But in my case, this has lasted me for a very long time and I wanna see how much longer it lasts. In fact, <laughs> this is going on, I think 15 years now. It still works, so. I'm gonna keep using this until it doesn't work anymore. Please mention in the comments how long your TPMSs last, cause I think they last a lot longer than what dealers or shops say they last for. Myself and others would like to know. Now, I have other videos you can check out after this that shows how I briefly drove with my broken valve stem before I would eventually replace this, as well as a cool teardown or battery replacement on this which shows the battery and its components. I'll put those interesting videos in the description below. A quick like and subscribe to see more cool videos is also much appreciated. Let's get started on replacing the valve stem with your existing TPMS. I'll explain all the parts that make up this TPMS as we unassemble this. First, we'll move a tire valve cap, the valve core right in here, which looks like this, very small. It's like a, I'd like to say a springy pin. This valve core allows air to go in and out when uh, pushed on. After the valve core comes this uh, nut screw. This is usually taken off on the car. Then you got a rubber grommet. You're gonna use a very small flat tip screwdriver. Go ahead and twist off the rubber grommet. Now there's a uh, lock nut or a washer right here. Go ahead and unscrew it off or pull it off. Next, you'll see a screw with, with a flap there. Uh, this is how the flap looks like. You'll see a screw right there. I'm going to use a T6 bit. Now, if you take this to a place and they do this, or you do it yourself, make sure you get one of these smartphone repair toolkits. They will have like the small bits that you need to get these kind of screws out. Uh, <laughs> in fact, that's uh, another excuse of mechanics. They just don't carry these, surprisingly. And um, that's another way to get you to get a new uh, TPMS and is why they don't also replace the valve stems. So stay one step ahead of them and make sure you have a smartphone repair toolkit with you. I'll put this in the description below as well as all these uh, tools and supplies I'm using. Anyway, now to remove this, so I'm gonna use a T6 bit. Remove the screw. Now, once the screw is loose, you'll see this flap right here. You'll grab a small flat tip screwdriver and you'll just carefully bend this up like that. And once that's bent, this is my donor piece, so I don't care how this looks, and the screw's off, then you're going to wiggle this out and up. I'll give more tips and details shortly, but here's a nice exploded view of this. Again, you got the tire cap, the screw nut, the rubber grommet, the washer, the actual valve stem, the TPMS, and then there's usually a screw with this. Now. One very, very important thing about when you're trying to replace the valve stems. Make sure you get the right valve stem. I uh, previously bought two other valve stems, thinking they would work with my current TPMS. But, although it fits in here, you can see that there's actually no way to properly secure this. So, this did not work. And then here is the other one. Same thing. It, it doesn't even fit in in this case. So, make sure you get the right valve stem. Now, of course, one big problem is you don't know what valve stem you might have. You don't know if it was ever replaced or what kind of TPMS you have currently. Is it the OEM? Is it a replacement? Who knows? Which is 
the only bad thing. So make sure when you do get uh, your TPMS, make sure it doesn't, like in my case, I needed to get the original factory one. So that's what I got because the others just didn't fit. So I had to get a, a new one from the original OEM one. Really wish they made these more accessible for people so they could just get a valve stem replaced instead of the whole TPMS, which is what most people tend to do. I just think people should have options. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you agree in, in the comments. Now I'm going to install this. If this has helped so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. Now to reinstall this so I can reuse my current TPMS. This is the donor valve stem with a different TPMS. And here's my original TPMS that I'm going to reuse. Let's reinstall this now. Here it is. I'm going to put it in carefully. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my T6 screw bit and line up this flap with the hole. Go ahead and tighten it. It should feel nice and tight and you shouldn't be able to turn any further. Now go ahead and grab your washer. Screw it on. Make sure it's in the correct position. Grab your rubber grommet. Turn it. Push it in. Once this is reinstalled in the tire area, this cap will then go on like so. And then this is a valve core. You do want to make sure your valve core is tight as well. It is. I'll put the, this valve core tool in the description below as well. Then you'll fill up your car tire with air. And of course, put the tire cap back on. And you should be good to drive again. You won't have any codes on your dashboard because you're using the same TPMS, which means no program. Also because only the valve stem was replaced. So it's easy to do this once the rim is separated from the tire and minimal tools are needed to do this. As mentioned before, I'll put all tools and supplies used in the description below, as well as the other interesting videos you can watch, such as a teardown on this, and driving temporarily with a broken valve stem. If this has helped, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more interesting videos like these. Until next time, thanks for watching. I think I'll put this back in my car now. See you later.